If you have a snapping sensation on the back of your wrist, it might be a good idea to see an orthopedic surgeon or a hand surgeon. In this video, I'll explain what that condition could be and what can be done about it. My name is Dr. David Geyer, orthopedic surgeon, sports medicine specialist, and anti-aging and regenerative medicine expert. I help you feel, look, and perform your best regardless of age or injury. So, no, so a snapping wrist, at least in the orthopedic world, is what we consider uh, tendons that snap over the back of your wrist. And so I'm, when I talk snapping wrist, I'm not talking about just a clicking you get inside your joint. I'm talking about a very specific problem. And if you have this, you'll definitely know what it is when I describe it. But basically on the back of your wrist, if you're looking at a model here, um, there are tendons that basically help you extend your fingers and extend your wrist. And they run across the back of your wrist. There's a number of them. Well, there's, there's one in particular that basically is right up against this bony prominence there called the ulnar styloid. And it's held in place with a, a sheath around that tendon. But after a twisting injury of a wrist or certain injuries, you can tear that sheath. And then what can happen is that tendon snaps back and forth over that bony process, the ulnar styloid. And yes, it's painful. Yes, it's uncomfortable. But in theory, if that keeps kind of sliding back and forth, that bone eventually will rupture that tendon. It'll just just sort of gradually fray it like a rope until it finally gives. Most of the time it doesn't get to that point because people are so aggravated by this tendon popping back and forth over their wrist that they end up seeing a doctor. The reason it's important to get that diagnosis is one, I talked about to prevent you know, any further damage to that tendon, but two, to do something to stabilize that tendon in place. And unfortunately, that almost always requires surgery to basically repair that sheath that, that basically surrounds the tendon, that covers the tendon and holds it in place. At least to my knowledge, and I feel like most hand surgeons would agree with this. I'm not a hand surgeon, I do sports medicine, but the hand surgeon, yeah, and you see this a fair amount in sports, but most of the hand surgeons will go straight to surgery with that. There really isn't a brace or a splint or any kind of injection that is gonna help that heal without surgery. Yes, it may, immobilizing it may prevent snapping of the tendon back and forth, but th that doesn't necessarily help the sheath heal. So the minute you come out of it, twist your wrist or go through a range of motion, it starts popping again. It's typically uh, a fairly straightforward surgery. It's an outpatient surgery, but it does take several weeks many weeks to heal. And then you're working with a, a hand therapist to get motion and range of, and strength back so that you can get back to the activities, which you want to basically what you want to do. But it is, it has very good success rates. I would just say, if you have a feeling like the tendons are popping over that bony prominence, the ulnar styloid, get that checked out because that's not something typically that does well without surgery. I'd love to hear your experience with your wrist injury. Leave those in the comments below. Just understand if you leave a question in the comments, I can't offer you medical advice. What I can do is basically address that topic in a future video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when I release a new video and when I start a new live stream, such as my Ask Dr. Geyer live shows. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to helping you feel, look, and perform better than ever.